So in this lecture, we are going to learn about different types of contact algorithms in HyperMesh. So till now we had learned how to create auto contacts and manual contacts. And now we are going to learn about different options in contact. So when you create any contact in HyperMesh, you will see multiple options here. Like first of all, we can select the type of contact here. You will see option like slide, stick, freeze, and we can select the tie contact. Then you need to define the master and slave. Then you will see M orient, search distance, adjust value, clearance, discrete, track, etc. So now we are going to learn what are these options and how to select the appropriate value. So when you define any contact in HyperMesh, first of all, we need to understand whether we want to take linear or nonlinear. Linear means we are not considering the friction between the contact surfaces. And for the nonlinear, we consider the friction. Initially, we are going to learn about linear contact. Later on, we are going to learn about nonlinear. So, in the linear contact, we have these options. So, if you go to contact, you have two options. Initially, we can define a touch contact or we can define a tie contact. Tie contact means it is glue or fixed whenever two bodies are fixed with respect to each other it means they cannot move then we apply the tie contact and then we have freeze stick and slide freeze is very similar to tie contact but tie contact work on penalty based algorithm stick means whenever two bodies are initially not in contact but when they come in contact they stick with each other they do not separate then we apply the stick Slide means two bodies can slide with respect to each other, but there is no friction. Then we use the slide contact. So here you can see the contact interfaces in HyperMesh. Okay, so first interface that is called the tie contact. It enforce zero relative motion between the interface bodies. So here it works on Langrange multiplier and penalty based. Then we have freeze contact. Again in freeze contact, there is a zero relative motion between the contact surface and then we have sliding. Sliding means whenever two bodies can have little bit of movement between them. There is a contact interface and there is but they but we consider there is no frictional effect. Okay, so it is valid only for small sliding means very there is there is very small sliding means value is 0.1 etc. It can be applied to both open and close contact. If the convergence difficulty arises, we can add a small value of friction. Then we have stick contact. It enforces stick condition whenever the contact interface are not sliding. Okay, so this only applies to the close contact means two bodies. One body is enclosing the other body. So if you go to the hyper mesh. So in the previous lecture, we have defined the contact here. You can also go to open. You can open up this manual or auto any one of the file. So in this file you can see we have created the contact. Here in the group you will see card image contact. So we can select slide stick freeze option or we can select the tie contact from here. Go to this T that is tie. So when you select any of these options you will need to define the master slave then M orient. So in this M orient you can select norm open gate overlap and rev norm and then we have search distance another important thing here that is we want to talk about is here you will see n2s or s2s that is node to surface or surface to surface also we need to define the type of track between them that is small sliding finite sliding or consoling so in the next lecture we are going to learn about these options